Hello, Shine. Welcome everyone to City Kids. I am so glad you're here today. The first thing we're going to do is sing. Yes, you got it right. We're going to sing a song and it's called One Way. Let's sing together. Welcome back everyone. I hope you were dancing. Now it's time for us to listen to today's Bible story. Okay, make sure you're listening and I'll be back to review it with you. Okay friends, it's time for our Bible lesson. My name is Victoria and I'll be going through today's lesson with you. Now I have a question for you. Do you know your shapes? Are you sure? Really, really sure? All right, let's find out. What shape is, what shape is this? Oh, it's a circle, well done. Let's try another shape. What shape is this one? A triangle, well done. Okay, let's try another one. Let's see if you get this one. What about this one? What shape is this? A rectangle, well done. Okay, what about this one? What shape 
is this square okay and the last one what shape is this it's the cross well done well done now does this shape remind you of anything anyone oh nice this cross reminds me of jesus now jesus died on the cross to rescue us from sin right but in our bible story today some people forgot they thought they thought that to be part of god's family and to be saved you needed to do other things apart from believing in jesus they thought you probably had to act a certain way do other things so let's find out more in our bible story hey friends megan here and this is jesse jesse did you remember to bring your Bible to introduce today's Bible story? Oh, no! I forgot! I'm sorry, Megan. That's okay. Actually, the people in today's Bible story forgot something too. They did? Yep. They forgot the most important thing of all. The Gospel. Oh, no! How did they forget that? Well, let me tell you about it. Here's the story. Paul had told people in Galatia the good news about Jesus. They believed and Paul started some churches. Later, Paul heard that these believers had a big problem. Some false teachers came and told them things that weren't true. They said that people need more than faith in Jesus to be forgiven. These false teachers said you had to obey the law of Moses, too. The believers in Galatia were confused. Hmm. Before long, they forgot the truth hmm. that Paul taught them and believed the lies of the false teachers. So Paul wrote them a letter. Paul wrote, To the churches of Galatia, I am amazed how quickly you turned away from God. You believed the lies of the false teachers, but their message is not good news. God gave us good news, the gospel, through his son Jesus. Paul reminded the believers about what God had done in his life. Paul used to arrest and hurt believers. But Jesus changed Paul. Jesus appeared to Paul and told him to tell the good news to the Gentiles or people who were not Jews. So Paul spent his whole life telling people this message. Jesus came into the world to save people who sin. This is good news for Jews and Gentiles. You are foolish, Paul wrote in his letter. Think about this. Did God give you the Holy Spirit because you obeyed the laws? Or did he give you the Holy Spirit because you heard the gospel and believed by faith? Paul wanted to explain something. From God, by faith, we trust in Jesus. We should not trust in ourselves because no one can be good enough to be accepted by God. When we have faith, the Holy Spirit changes us and gives us power to obey God. So as Paul traveled in his missionary journey, he started some churches and he started a church in Galatia. So he told them about the good news that Jesus came to die to rescue us from our sin and then he rose again. And for us to be saved, he told them for the Galatians to be saved, they needed to have faith in Jesus alone. Now, I have a salvation board here. So I want you to get a piece of paper. It can be a white piece of paper and a pencil. So that's going to be your own salvation board. Quickly, 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 I'll be waiting for you. All right, if you have to pause the video, that's all right. Okay, so Paul says for us to be saved, we need to believe in Jesus alone. So on our salvation board, we are going to draw a very big cross and then write faith in the middle of the cross. Come on, let's go. All right. If you can't draw a cross, you can ask an adult to help you. Okay? All right. Come on, let's do this. 
so we are drawing a very big cross on our salvation board okay let's keep it going we are almost there we're almost there i hope this cross looks nice i hope it does hmm okay I hope my cross looks nice okay now we're going to write faith as f a i c h all right so this was what paul told the galatians that for you to be saved you needed to believe in jesus alone now some false teachers came and said no 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 on your salvation board you don't only need to have faith in jesus you need to obey the laws as well so what i tried to do was i tried to write some of the laws the laws are so many but i tried to write some of them on this sticky note now since the false teacher said for us to be saved we need to have faith in jesus and believe in the laws so now i'm going to try and stick all the laws that i have here on our salvation board all right let me start i hope this doesn't take all our time come on <sighs> tired <sighs> okay after trying to stick as many laws as i can on our salvation board they keep falling off i think they keep falling off because they're not even supposed to be on the salvation board either ways all right so the false teachers they said for you to be saved you need to have faith in jesus and obey the laws as well and you know what the galatians believed them so they thought they had to believe the laws and have faith in jesus but when paul heard this he was like I am so amazed that you are quickly turning away from God. You believed the lies of the false teachers. And so on their own salvation board, this was the way it looked like. But Paul told them that this is a lie. We only become saved by believing in Jesus. No one can be good enough to be accepted by Jesus. So Paul told the Galatians that this is not what this, these laws are not supposed to be on their salvation board. So guess what? I have to pull this down again because it's a lie. All right, so let's go. Can you count from 10 to zero and see if I can pull this down in 10 seconds? Come on, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, can you clap for me? All right. Thank you. So Paul reminded the Galatians what the gospel is. That Jesus died on the cross to rescue us from sin and he rose again. And for us to be saved, we need to have faith in Jesus alone. He even asked them a question. He said, did they have the, or did God give them the Holy Spirit because they obeyed the laws? Or because they heard the gospel and they believed in Jesus? It was because they believed. So the law does not make us right with God. We, are, we, we become Christians, we become Christians by faith and we live by faith. And you know what? Faith is a gift from God. By faith, we trust in Jesus. No one, not me, nor you, can do anything that is good enough to be accepted by God. Now, but does that mean we don't need to do what God says? Actually, Paul says we need to obey God. But when we give our lives to God and when we trust Him, we receive the Holy Spirit who can help us to actually obey what God says. All right, so our big idea for today's lesson is that we are saved by faith in Jesus alone. Do you remember your memory verse? Acts chapter 4 verse 12. There is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to people by which we must be saved. Can you tell me what that name is? Starts with J. One more time jesus all right so don't forget and don't believe the lies of the false teachers we are saved in jesus by faith alone all right let's pray together 
Heavenly Father, we are so thankful for Jesus. Thank you for what he did on the cross so that we can be saved from sin. Lord, we ask that you always help us to remember that we, we are accepted into your family by trusting in Jesus alone. And Lord, we pray that you will help us by your spirit to always obey what you to ask us to do. In Jesus' name, have I prayed. Amen. All right. Thank you for going through today's lesson with me. Now I'm going to hand over to Auntie Funke to take you through the rest of the class. So, like Auntie Victoria said, we become Christians by what? By faith. And what is faith? Faith is trusting in Jesus. Can we say that together? Faith is trusting in Jesus. Yes. When you put your trust in Jesus, it means that you believe what Jesus did. He died for you and he rose again for you. When you put your faith in Jesus, you become part of his family. And that reminds me of our memory verse. Acts chapter 4 verse 12. It says, For there is salvation in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given to people by which we must be saved. Now, this week we're going to learn our memory verse with a song. Listen to the song, make sure you dance, and I will see you again sometime soon. Have a beautiful week. Bye!